Hi all. So uh, I'm gonna put a backup camera on the truck, mainly for snow plowing. Uh, I didn't buy one complete system. I looked around and uh, I figured I'd piece my own system together. Uh, I'm trying to stick with the same company. Well, this seems like a pretty good company, but I'm not really sure. I don't know much about this stuff. So, this brand is it's uh, Eklund. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but it's E dash K Y L I N. So I suppose it's Eklund. So this is a camera that I bought. It's, it's, it's just a license plate camera. And uh, so I think I lucked out on, on this one. It, it's like a heavy duty metal. It might be aluminum. I'm not sure. It's got these lights so it works at night. It's got a little plastic on the uh, camera. And uh, this frame is really nice. It's not flimsy at all. I think you're supposed to be able to adjust these up and down. There's two little screws here on, on the bottom. So I figured that's what that's for. Here's the cord. It's only about a three foot cord. Two, well, I'd say about a two foot cord but that's good because the reason why they do that is if this camera goes bad then you can just unplug it here and your main wire that you run back there you don't have to mess with okay so uh, there's not much of a manual with it they just sent this little thing. So just to run through this, it says, Please read this instruction carefully before installing and use. This instruction is applied to all of our automobile cameras. For rear view or reversing, installation should be done by a professional staff. Wire connection... Our cameras are applicable to all types of vehicles. They should be installed at proper position or the vehicle and with monitor. When used for rear view at forward driving or reversing, camera with mirror image function is used. Wire connection illustrated in diagram one. Connect with power cable of the monitor and the one of the camera with the power cable in the vehicle. When the camera is intended only for reversing, connect the power cable of the camera with that of the reversing tier. The red wire is positive and the other is negative. So, I don't see a negative. That's just a power cable, I guess. I don't know what this would be for. Yeah. So I guess you plug this into here. This goes to your positive, and this is the ground. Couldn't get any thinner, could they? Okay, so on the back there's some diagrams. So here they're showing plug, plug the camera into a cable and it goes right into your monitor. And then here they're showing the power, it goes into that little black plug we just that and here's the two wires 
one goes through the battery, one goes to the ground. Okay, I suppose the uh, same thing here. Power lines, the red lead positive, the negative black. Yellow terminal is video interface for connection to monitor. Okay. So, I suppose I can connect that to this. really sure what I was gonna do is just connect this to this and then this to this and then run this wire underneath the truck so it's Eklund wires Eklund camera Eklund monitor So I should be okay. And then when I get underneath the get underneath the dash, I can use this one here and send this to the power and this to the ground. Man, those are really thin wires. Man, those are really thin wires. <clears throat> okay. That cable is a 10 meter. I think it's like 20 feet or something like that. And then I bought two short ones. These are 5 meters with 3 feet in a meter. So these are short here. I think I bought, I bought three short ones. One long one. I'm going to use this spoon. I got this at Walmart to go around here because I figure I'm going to have to cover up the plug somehow. So I'll need the thicker loom. And I have some smaller loom left over for this. That's pretty thin so it should that's pretty thin so it should go through there. Well, I'm not real sure on on the wiring yet, so that will cover that in future videos. And then here. just to briefly go over the monitor. kind of splurged on the monitor because uh, I wanted I wanted a quad monitor so th this was the biggest one I could find for backup cameras I think it's a I think it's a nine inch. Oh yes, yeah, see it says nine inch color monitor. So it's nine inches corner to corner. Power button. And uh, there's not much of a manual that came with this. So we're gonna have to stumble through this too. And there's only one plug that comes off of it. It looks like a specialized plug just for video. And that's it. Not much of a manual. The only thing they sent was this. And it really doesn't say much of nothing. 
So uh, screen dimensions, 9 inch, resolution 800 by 400 RGB, that's just red, green, blue. You take three colors and you mix them all and you get all the colors. Uh, PAL I think is Europe, NTSC is for America. 12 volt is for like cars. I don't know what the 24 volt is. I'm not a, I'm not a mechanic. It's probably a, other types of vehicles. Six watts. Oh, that's nice to know. It only draws six watts. Two-way video input. Two-way video input. Well, the screen can cut in four. It's a quad screen. So, it's supposed to be a quad screen. So we'll see how that goes. Rear watching image can be changed left and right. Operate mode, the key operation and remote control. So and then there's a little remote control. That's really small. I don't think I'd need that in the truck. We'll see, it might come in handy. So No, I, I didn't even notice this. this. This looks like some type of mount. I didn't even notice this before. I guess you could put that in, put that in here. Okay. So it's supposed to be a screen that you can cut and force. They, they call it a quad screen. So. Uh, and then they give you a stand. We'll we'll go over this more when I install it. I'm not going to do the monitor today. So there's the stand. I guess I can screw it down here. But what I did want to show you was uh, here's the other end. Of the cable. See there's one cable that comes off the monitor and then this cable goes in here. So this harness has got all these wires coming off of it. Okay so this this harness came with the monitor. So there's four four for video. So, and these are marked channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4, channel, one, channel, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 4. And then we got all these wires. We, we got a hot wire, and, and we got a ground wire, and then we got all these. So there's no manual. I don't really know what to do with these yet. So, so just to run through these, that says turning lane. This one says turning lane. Same thing. Channel 4. Turning lane. Channel 3. Reversing. Brown wire says reversing. Channel 2. This one says forward channel one. So I don't really know what to do with these here. I may not need them. I watched a few videos, and uh, from what I gather, sometimes they they supply all different types of wires in case you do want to hook it up in certain ways. So just to give you a general idea of what I'm thinking. Okay, like uh, this is like a top view of the truck. Wheel here, wheel here, wheel here, wheel here. This here is the truck bed. Uh, snow plow. Snow plow will be up here. So the one I'm going to install today goes on the rear license plate.
and then I'm just going to run the wire right up to the front. I'm going to come up through the engine and then back over on top of the engine and into that same hole that I ran all the other ones in. And then underneath the dash and then over here. So that's why I bought that's why that's why I bought the long cable. Okay. So one camera will be here. So most people like go uh, one one camera there two camera here, three camera here, and then a fourth camera in the front. But since I got the snow plow, it would be nice to uh, like get the cameras up here. Like one back here, one on this side, because it's hard to see back in here, passenger side. And then maybe one three and four up on up on the plow somehow maybe in a corner of the truck or I don't think I'd be able to put them on the plow so that's what I'm kind of thinking I don't really know yet and you know as far as the wiring goes like if this is the back camera one and then let's say camera two Camera three, camera four, right? Here's the monitor. So video, 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 video. Okay, so that's all these plugs. That's easy. And then we got the red one that comes off to the black. And these cameras I haven't bought yet. But I suppose it's going to be the same thing. Red one with a black. See this one? Red, red, red with a black, red with a black. So, and then there's, a, there's like a power button here on, a, on the monitor. So what I'm thinking is, because these cameras are always on, you know, if you wire those red wires in, wh whether you put them right to the battery, I guess I wouldn't want them to go right to the battery, right? Because they'll even be on when I turn off the truck. So I wire them into the fuse box, right? Fuse box. Fuse. Okay. And then I'm thinking like put like a toggle switch here a toggle switch here a toggle switch there a toggle switch there so i can turn them off and on this one's got a power button but uh, when i run the power off that one i probably have to put a toggle switch on that too Okay, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know if I'll need f five toggle switches. I might be able to do it with one. I'm going to have to read up on that and talk to a few people. When I put the backup beeper in, I had the toggle switch on the hot wire. And, and I had called the tech there. That company was nice because you could call and talk to the tech. He said it's fine like that with the toggle switch on the hot wire but it would be better if the toggle switch was on the ground the on off button on the ground okay he said because then you aren't messing with the the power cable okay so I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet I'm hoping to get some comments from people who know so that's why I thought I'd walk through this real quick so all I'm gonna to do today is 
install this guy on on the on the uh, back license plate and run the wire underneath the truck. It's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain uh, tonight, tomorrow. So I, that's why I thought I'd get on the ground and get the wire into the the cab. Then all this stuff is done inside the truck. I won't have to worry if it's raining. Okay, so let's go outside and run some wire. See ya.